A few days ago, SpaceX rolled out booster number 18. This would be the first V3 booster and its first destination would be the test site over at Massey's. There, it was going to undergo various structural tests. Unfortunately, around 4 a.m., there was a disaster. The lower oxygen tank ruptured, visibly splitting outwards and spilling cryogenic propellants. But the booster remained standing. SpaceX have since acknowledged the failure and confirmed that it was a gas system pressure test. Also, they expect to have a replacement booster stacked is sometime in December. But thanks to photos from Starship fans on site, we have a pretty good idea of what caused the failure. The tank being bent out meant that it wasn't a negative pressure problem. The fact that it was still standing with a big hole meant the transfer tube was still in good condition. But images taken from the south showed that the damage was centered on this chine. The booster has four of these and they're aerodynamic covers for equipment that has to sit on the outside of the tank. So one theory is that the process of attaching these weakened the underlying material and caused it to fail under pressure. But once we got the right image, we understood what happened. This image is by Jordan Goodray for uh, What About It? and it's taken from an aircraft. You can see the remains of two chines on the left side with a bunch of panels missing. Inside there are the black composite overwrapped pressure vessels. But for the right one, nothing remains. No covers and no pressure vessels are visible. Furthermore, if we zoom in, uh, we can see the transfer tube in the center of the tank and it looks like there is a puncture hole. And all this evidence points to the failure starting in a composite overwrap pressure vessel, which exceeded its capabilities, disintegrated fragments were sent into the tank all the way through into the transfer tube, while also tearing open the oxygen tank. The nearby pressure vessels probably also failed in a chain reaction. This sounds very similar to the failure of Starship 36. If this is indeed another COPV failure, I hope SpaceX are working on procedures to make sure it doesn't happen a third time.